like to welcome you to the May 27, 2021 Board of Public Safety meeting. Uh, roll call, please. Here. 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 Uh, any conflict of interest statements? No, sir. No. Um, approval of the minutes of the meeting of April 22nd, 2021. I make a motion to approve those minutes. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item A, correspondence received requesting a rental registration hearing. She says it's on June 24th. Okay. I make a motion to set that hearing for June 24th, 2021. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. <clears throat> Item B. Correspondence received from Mr. Robert Castillo requesting a rental registration hearing set for May 20th, 2021 be reheard as he was attending a family member's funeral last week. There's two of them, 6429 Kennedy and 6431 Kennedy. Push it up to next week. She, she was saying that same date. Oh, same date. Same date. 24 June. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, rehear that uh, that uh, rental registration for June 24th, 2021. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item C, correspondence received from Ms. Claudia Solis requesting a do not block the driveway sign be placed at her mother's house at 4923 Cedar Avenue. Any comment, Mr. Button? Good morning. I did um, look on the street view this morning and I agree that we should approve that. Okay. I refer to Public Works for the sign installation. Okay. Do you know? Do you know if she's ever called about cars blocking the driveway? Have we ever had a chance to ticket or tow any cars? I, I do not know that. But I looked at it. There's a there's a vehicle on the on the street view, Google Street View that shows it's parked right up against the the driveway. I don't know if it's that or not, but it's a fairly narrow driveway. Okay. And I, we don't have any objection. Okay. Is there something else you'd want to do? No. Initially. Okay. No, I mean, we, I just wanted to know if we had a chance to okay. tow anybody. So. I got you. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Then. Uh, um, to public works. Yeah. To public forward it to public works. Okay. okay. I make a motion to approve um, Ms. Solis's request and forward it to public works. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Item D, correspondence received from 18th Street Distillery requesting street closure on Oakley Avenue from Douglas Street to Russell Street on Saturday, June 12th, 2021 for their three year anniversary. No objection. Uh, they did a similar closure uh, May the 8th. So no objection. So their neighbors were okay with it, yep. right? Yep. The ones to the west? No, they, they worked with their neighbors. The date is consistent with okay. the same. And okay. Yep, they were clear. And I, I, I heard no negative feedback from the May 8th event, so. It, All right. Makes right. sense. Okay, then I will make a motion to approve uh, 18th Street to Surrey's request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, item E, correspondence received from St. Casimir Parish requesting permission to hold the 15th annual Corpus Christi procession on Sunday, June 6, 2021, from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. with traffic control. This has been done before. Just uh, forward it to EMA and police. Yeah, okay. You're good with it? Yeah. I'm good with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. I will make a motion to uh, approve this uh, request and, and forward it to EMA and police for, uh, for their review. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> uh, matters from board members. Mr. Long? Just get the F. I did? F, yeah. Oh, sorry. That's F. Okay. 
Correspondence received from Mr. P. Torres, Second District Councilman, requesting $25,000 of gaming funds be allocated for construction of Windridge Park. Mr. Smith? Yes, Mr. President, board, good morning. Uh, this is a, a very exciting project. Uh, it's the newest park in the city of Hammond. Uh, it's going to be located on Thornton in Jacobs Square, and it's going to allow the movement of Windridge Park uh, from where the school city is going to be building the football field in that area over to this new location. So it's real exciting. I think Councilman Torres is participating with some gaming funds. So is uh, Councilman Tyler and the mayor. So um, right. it's under, hopefully we'll be un under construction this year. All right. Thank you. Okay. Make a motion to approve uh, Councilman Torres' request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Matters from board members. No, sir. Nothing. Jenny? No, sir. Nothing. Item seven, matters from other department heads and or the representatives. Okay. Mr. Smith? Yeah, I did. it's already on, it's on, under, no, okay, sorry, no, nothing, I'm good. Okay. Mr. Okay. Novak, later in the agenda. Yes. Uh, new business, plot of the Garcia and Gill addition to the city of Hammond submitted for signature. Now, we signed this once, but there was a technical glitch or something and we need to resign. That's correct, correct? yeah. Uh, Mr. Pullen uh, indicated exactly what you just said, Mr. President. There's a technical glitch and it got sent back, so he needs to resign. Okay. Just Thank you. Then. We're just acknowledging that, yes. <clears throat> Item B, quit. Quit claim deed for property located at 4045 Calumet Avenue. <clears throat> Could I take a look at that? Absolutely. And apparently it's an outlot that the city owns that we're deeding over to, I believe, the Redevelopment Commission, or I'm sorry, yeah, it's from city to redevelopment, correct? Or is it to city, from city to unit first? Okay. Yep. So yeah. we're, we're approving it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, quit claim deed for the property located at 4045 Calumet Avenue. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Item C, disposal authorizations received from the police department. It's quite a flotilla of uh, disposals Ooh, there. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the knee slap, but well, they're sensitive today. <laughs> they're sensitive today. I know. This is quite the flotilla. Okay. I will make a motion to approve the disposal authorizations. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, right of way permit submitted for approval by the engineering department. <coughs> Mr. Gordish? Just short and sweet. This is another package. Well, five of them are of the Nipsco pole uh, renovation up north. So they're continuing. Oh. We've seen quite a few in the past. Right. And they just keep on coming in. But everything's okay. going to be good. Part of it's by uh, Michigan and Holman uh, with uh, uh, Carmen's facility. And she knows about it. And all so the they're redoing. And all lane closures and things None. there are any. They're just just restrictions if they need to, right, right. next to the road. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the right-of-way permits. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Page two. Okay. Here we go. Here. Item E, rental registration hearings on property located at I'll read them all off for the record, huh? All right. Yes, yeah. 930 Murray Street, 6549 Arkansas Avenue, 1126 Sibley Street, 7220 Parrish Avenue, 6638 Harrison Avenue, and 5269th Street, 6723 Leland Avenue, 7106 Monroe Avenue, 
7012 Harrison Avenue and 7039 Wicker Avenue, 3 through 5 Ruth Street, 5939 Wallace Avenue and 6704 Grand Avenue, 6521 Montana Avenue and 529 169th Street. All right. First up, we have 930 Murray. 930 Murray. Miss Martinez. I believe this uh, property was previously um, scheduled for April 29th of 21. Um, subsequently, an email followed from the property owner stating that um, she couldn't find her way here from Joliet, so was asked to have it rescheduled after the meeting had already concluded. So the board um, had made the decision to uh, deny the appeal on the late fee, seeing as Humbus Martinez is, uh, was unable to attend today at the second board meeting. I feel the board doesn't need to take any action um, and leave the original decision in place. Okay. So I'd say no action. 30 Murray, no needed. action. Okay. The next property we have is 6549 Arkansas. Okay. Uh, okay. This is a uh, six unit property. The last time it was registered was 2018. So the property owner owes for 2019, 2020, and 21. Uh, seeing as the uh, owner fails to appear, I would request that the board deny uh, the appeal of the late fee for all three years and six units. Okay. Is that what you want to do? Leave, leave fees for all six for all three years or just? Oh, just a six unit. Oh. Yeah, so. What's uh, prior to 2018, what's the history? Do you have it in front of you? Um, I do same actually. Same owner? Yes, yes. So this is the, the same property owner. Um, He's, they've been listed since 2002. Um, we have some concerns as far as the unit's uh, legality is, you know, given the construction of the property, as well as uh, his visit to our department was less than pleasant. Um, and when he went to the law department, okay. he uh, made it. All three? Yep. All right. All six. Okay. Then my, I'm going to make a motion to apply the late fee for all six units uh, for all three years, so a total of um, 3,000 per year. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the next property that we have <clears throat> Is 1126 Sibley Street. We can get rid of that. We're done. Uh, Miss Wilkes. Sure. Miss, Miss Wilkes, 1126 Sibley. Uh, this property I have listed uh, as owing for 2021. Um, say it is a single family home. Um, I'm sorry, I had those paperwork prepared as well for the other ones. Hold on. Seeing as the owner fails to appear, I would request that the board uh, deny the appeal of the late fee. Oh. Hey, is, this, is this the first time that she's been? Uh, yes, she actually uh, purchased the property in 2020. Um, the property was registered for 2020, and then she failed to register for 2021. I'll make a motion to uh, to apply the late fee for the year of 2021 for 1126 Sibley Street, cost of $500. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Wait a minute, 7220. <clears throat> uh, 7220 Parish, we've got down here under old business. Correct. Um, if we if we could handle both of those at the same time, it would oh. be appreciated. Okay. All right. 
So 7220 Parish? Yes, that's next. She's uh, Mr. She's here. Oh, oh. oh okay. Sorry. So it looks like uh, the property currently, I don't know if the board's aware, we have it going through um, the board for uh, an illegal unit as well. It was previously uh, occupied as a three unit with the front home having um, two units in the front and then a separate rear single family home. Um, so they are, we're in the process of complying with that request and hiring contractors to get that second floor unit in the front house removed. So previously with the property being registered as three units, uh, today for the rental registration, we would be here on um, just two units, the front and the rear, and uh, they only owe for 2021. If you'd like, you can address the board. We were just asking for the late fee to be waived so we can get the units today, the stickers today, for the two units. Can you tell us why, why you didn't register the units? Well, he didn't know if the upstairs was going to be able to be rented or not, but it's not. So now we're just doing the two units, and he's going to have to get contractors to remodel everything. They have been working with Inspector Hawkins mm -hmm. to bring the property into compliance, which is another reason why um, I wanted to address the second part of the uh, what's on the agenda today. So rather than having um, they continuously continue, um, we would like to present the board with the findings and orders uh, for approval for the removal of the second floor front or the yeah, second floor front uh, apartment. Um, so as the owner is complying with the request and understands you know, what needs to be done to uh, have that front house converted to a single family home to eliminate the uh, safety concern uh, with respect to uh, fire separation assemblies not being present and uh, based on the inspection results and the permit history research which was performed it was determined that there was never uh, any building permits electrical or plumbing to account for the creation of a second floor apartment and you're in agreement uh, with the removal of this unit ma'am yes okay so, so we're going to approve the old, under old business a right mm -hmm. at the same yes. time as making yes. okay yeah. okay so my motion is first to uh, waive the late fees for both units for 2021 and then also to a, approve the request uh, from inspector hawkins for the removal of the other apartment i second all those in favor aye aye Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number five, 6638 Harrison Avenue and 5269th Street. All right. Ms. Suckley? Yes. All right. So for 6638 Harrison, uh, we have this listed as a two unit property um, with the owner uh, only owing for 2021. And then the property on 169th, that is a single family home. Um, same situation we missed uh, 2021. It has previously been registered on time. So your recommendation is to. Um, I do address the board. Oh, just. Oh. Yeah, well, I just want to give her an oh. opportunity to oh, address okay. the board. Yeah, that's fine. Since sure. she's here, she took the time. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, so normally I pay it on time. For some reason, I just, uh, I went to, I called to pay it, and I was seven days late. I thought I was due in May, and I don't remember receiving the registration. I pay things on time, and I'm just hoping that you waive it this time. It won't happen again. The history's good, Nick? Yeah. Okay, I will make a motion to approve the agreement between the city and the homeowner. I second. Yep. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Do you have this? That's oh, what do I need? The sheet. Oh, I do. It's okay. Okay. All right. So next up, it looks like we have uh, 6723 Leland, 7106 Monroe, 7012 Harrison, and 7239 Wicker, uh, Mr. Yang Long Zen. 
So these properties, um, all of which are single family homes, and the owner is here for uh, missing the rental registration for 2021 only. Uh, the properties have all been registered on time every year prior. Don't have any uh, major issues to speak of. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, is it just uh, every year pay? Uh, uh, I registered uh, the property February or March this year because uh, I, I, I uh, reserve, have the reservation, the vaccine in March. So I said, oh, okay, after I got the shot, then I come. But somehow I just missed a few days. So not, I, <laughs> certainly. Sure. Okay. I'm going to make a motion to uh, to waive the late fees for 2021, uh, sir. You can register those at the conclusion of today's meeting. All right. Okay. Thank you. I Thank second. You. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Next property up, we have three through five, Ruth. Uh, Mr. Martinez. Martinez. Yep. All right. So it looks like this property, we have a six unit um, with Mr. Martinez uh, missed 2021. Um, and it looks like he had uh, registered every year prior um, on time. Mr. Martinez, if you'd like, you can address the board. Good morning, yeah. sir. I just forgot the date. I came about seven days late to get the rental permit that it was too late already. <laughs> okay. Good. History's good, Nick? Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't major okay. I will uh, make a motion to waive the late fees for all six units for 2021. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. If you want to wait time to the meeting, should Thank you, sir. Thank you. So next we have 5939 Wallace and 6704 Grand Avenue. Uh, Mr. Batista with A&J Investments LLC. Um, so it looks like the, I had spoken with the property owner prior. Um, they both are properties in which uh, 2021 was missed, 5937 through 39 Wallace Road. Uh, they were owner since 2019. They've registered on time previous two years. And then 6704 Grand, um, that is a two unit, which they just purchased in February 2nd of 2021. Um, so both of these are properties in which um, they just missed this 2021 year. Uh, so I just request the board um, accept the recommendation to waive the late fees. And 5939 Wallace is just uh, one unit? Correct, yeah. That's okay. A home okay. 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 Good? Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I'll make a motion to. Uh, to waive the late fees for 5939 Wallace and 6704 Grand Avenue. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Is just, uh, I'm just a little girl. <laughs> 6521 Montana Avenue. All right. Frankie Jones. Mr. Jones. Okay. Ms. Jones. Yes. So this property, um, Ms. Jones has owned it. Um, since the beginning of the records with Lake County Assessors, only owner listed. Um, affidavits have been submitted from 2010 through 2018. Um, it has never been registered as a rental before as the affidavits had covered, um, I believe, the existence of an immediate family member occupying the property. However, documentation has ceased to have been submitted since 2019 through 2021. So we, uh, we are missing um, the documentation to account for its occupancy for um, these three years. One unit. Yes, 
register every year. This is the first year I was late. I don't know why. I'm not, um, what about my daughter lives there, Susan Miller. So if her, if her daughter is still occupying the property, um, then we need uh, to have the affidavits for 2019, 2020, and 21 submitted because there's no notes in our system to account for that they've been um, <laughs> that they've been submitted. If Ms. Jones has copies of them, I'll gladly take them and enter them in. However, uh, the property has never been registered before, right? As a rental, mm -hmm. it's always been occupied as, with a single uh, with an immediate family member. There are there is a long history of affidavits submitted to account for that. We're just we're missing the last three years. So in 19 and 20, ma'am, is the has the immediate family members changed? Nobody has, nothing has changed. Nothing has not changed. come and register every year. Oh, so, so you need an affidavit for 19 and 20. Correct. Depicting that. Correct. Yeah, and there, there okay. be no, there's no cost for the affidavits. Okay. You know, if the media family members live in there and not paying rent. So, so if they get the affidavits, we waive the late Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, I'll make a motion to uh, waive the late fee for all three years uh, as long as a uh, affidavit is provided. Okay. 19 and 20. And 21. And 21. Well, I, I register, but they don't give me anything. I just go downstairs and register every year. Right. He can talk. He can explain yeah. that to oh, you. Okay. I'll explain that. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We'll thank you. We'll get us right now. Thank you. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Right. So last but not least, we have 529 169th Street, Ms. Mr. Bernicke. I do. So uh, we have this property listed as a two unit with one of the units owner occupied. Um, the owner has registered on time from 2014 to current. There was one previous Board of Works action in 2013. However, since then, he has registered the uh, rental unit on time. Um, he only owes for one unit um, as he occupies the other for 2021, uh, and he has owned the property since 2003. No other um, issues at the property that I can speak of. Anything you'd like to say? No excuse. I just forgot about it. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll make a motion to uh, to approve the agreement between the city and the homeowner to waive the late fee. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. And that'll do it for the run. Those uh, that uh, need to take care of the rental registration business, uh, as soon as we finish the meeting, we'll make copies of what you're going to need to take downstairs. So just be patient, just for a short bit more. Item F, license agreement renewal submitted for approval by environmental management. Mr. Novak. This is a continuation of a investigation at 837 Hoffman Street, which used to be a dry cleaners. It started several years ago with a license agreement to test, and this is now part of the remediation where they, in fact, inject bugs into the ground to sort of Pac-Man and eat the contamination. This takes an extended period of time, but we monitor them on a yearly basis. This allows them to really go into the city street where the contamination is and complete that contamination re, uh, removal. You did say bugs, is that right? Absolutely. Have they they, are, retrieved they the are genetically the or what? They are genetically designed to oh. eat Really? Certain contaminants. Wow. And in this case, it's perchlorethylene. I learned something today. How can we not approve it then? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will make a uh, motion to approve the license agreement renewal. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Good one. Yeah. Item G, garage sale permit submitted for approval. Let me send them down this way. Sure. Let me send them down this way. Okay. 
I will make a motion to approve the grad sale permits. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item H, application for music event to be held at Anthem Church, 6947 Holman Avenue, Sunday, June 6, 2021, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I am Rob Ladiak. I'm one of the staff pastors at Anthem. So basically what we're wanting to do is have a one-time service to kick off the summer outside. The majority of the music would be from 10 to about noon. We'd have sound check at 8 o'clock. And so it's an event for the whole community, food, games, and also a service. So again, will there, will there be any music outside of the 10 to 12 window? Uh, there will be. If you know. Yeah, there will be sound check at 8. Right. Uh, service actually starts at 10. We'll go to about 12. And then about from 12 to 1.30, it'll just be background, just music playing. And so we've actually made sure that the speakers are facing away from the neighborhood. So they're actually going to be pointing back towards the towards where our church is at. So, so they'll be not. out towards Holman Avenue facing back towards the church? Yes. Yeah. Unlike last year where yeah, they last were year it was facing the other way? Toward, yeah. Yeah, so well, I heard it. I mean, it was fine with me. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. Anything else, with Mr. Any Smith? The, yeah, is there being contact with any, any of the neighbors? Or any, um, are you going to let them know? Would there be any kind of way to, to alert the neighborhood? A sign oh. out front um, on the property? There's actually a meeting happening right now at church, and so I could see if there's some way where we can maybe even fly or just uh, okay. the, 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 the neighbors fine. around us. Just let them know. Okay. Yeah, I, I know, like, uh, for example, like, there's another church next door, the Greek church, they should probably be notified just because they're going to have services around the same time, just so they know what's going on, you know, just so they're aware. I mean, that'd be fair. I mean, okay. I, that's reasonable, right? Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a motion to approve the request uh, and, and make every effort, if you could, to notify the neighbors. I, I think it goes a long way. So. That won't be a problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yes, old business uh, item A has been um, taken care of. Item B, request for street closure on Cleveland Street. I did the drive, the drive through. Um, I didn't see an issue with it from uh, Jackson to the alley. I mean, that's all it's going to take up. So any any kind of movement, um, I don't think is going to be a problem. Okay, to close it. Then I will make a motion to approve the uh, street closure on Cleveland Street. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And we, yeah, you know what? We probably need to notify you guys, public works. I think they want barricades. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Item C, the request for street closure on 114th, which is, again, another uh, graduation uh, party. Um, talk to the homeowner. It's only from, like, Parkview to Warwick, one little sub-block of section. He's got the approval of his neighbors. I don't okay. see an issue with that one either. I don't. Okay. I don't see it. Okay, uh, then I will make a motion to approve the request for street closure on 114th Street. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, probably barricades there too, Johnny. Okay. This is for this coming weekend. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, well, that's it for old business. The meeting's open to the public. Anyone here care to speak to us about anything? Nope. Those rental registration folks, just hang on so we can sign the paperwork, make copies, you'll be on your way. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.